Hey y'all, welcome to Choo Choo Sale. Today, I thought I would try to do jelly printing again. I've only done it a couple of times. I've watched some YouTube videos. And when I watch the YouTube videos, they come out with these great products. Um, so I think I just need to have a little more confidence and faith in what I'm doing. Hold just one second. Sorry, thought I had all the supplies and forgot the most important thing, the brayer. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is I've pulled out several different stencils and a few magazine cutouts that I had cut out last night. And I know that they say that with the magazine, you should pick high contrast items, but I honestly only have one or two magazines and they're mainly about Hawaii, so there's not a lot of contrast, but we're gonna try it anyway today and see what we come up with. So the first thing I wanna do is put some paint on my jelly mat. And I think I'll start out with the turquoise color and aqua green, I think this one is. And you, the trick is, what I'm learning is, you can't have too much paint, but you have to have enough paints. And then if you, when you're rolling it, just in case anyone wants to try this, that it works better if you have a thin layer. And then if you are trying to get an imprint, if you kind of let it dry on there a little bit. Now, when you're working with stencils, it's not the same. When you're working with stencils, you can do it pretty much on the wet paint. So first you spread out your paint, and then I'm gonna take off the excess, excess, excess paint. And then I have a couple of different types of paper that I wanna try today, and a couple of different stencils. Um, the first one, I was going to see what this comes out looking like. Let's put it on there. You can roll it out. And then we're... We're not gonna get rid of that yet. First paper I'm gonna try is some rice paper that I had purchased through Amazon. Oops, I'm sliding. I meant to put some, should have put some masking tape on that. And then you wanna rub it all over. Now this one is not dry, so it's still kind of cool though. But we're gonna do another layer. And then I think I want to, let's try adding, adding some color. Now, did we use, I think we used blue, so let's try a little bit of turquoise. Yeah, we definitely didn't have this one open. Ah, and not too much. You don't want it to be real wet. Now, just to, Perk it up some. Let's add a color that's a little bright, a little pick me up. Let's see what this gives us. I'm 
maybe it wasn't a good idea to put wax paper in there. It also works better if you cut when you're rolling. If you lift up on your brayer, it helps get an even. Well, the pink is not really showing up, is it? Okay, let me see here. Now I'm gonna put just a little bit on top of this. See what we, and we're just experimenting, just playing. I've seen so many people do so many different things on here. And there's always comes out so nice. stencil up and if you can see we do have um, imprint going on here of the flowers so again I'm going to try the rice paper and I think I said but it really makes a difference on our different papers react different I do have some magazines that I'm going to try to see if we can lift a print this one we're going to let dry for just a little longer and see if it lifts the print off of the jelly plate. So the main goal from what I can tell when you're doing jelly printing is you're trying to lift it up. See this one's not sticky yet. It doesn't feel stuck. You're trying to lift the print up off of the jelly plate. And if I haven't already said, this is a learning curve for me. This is my, really my first experience with jelly printing. I've, I've watched, like I said, a few videos and everybody has a different approach, a different technique. But at the end of the day, kind of like that. I mean, you could always, after this dries, you could always cut it up. You could use it for <clears throat> collage material. You could use it for a background. So I'm okay with that. Put this one over here to dry. And the next one, um, I'm gonna try some multimedia paper and see what we get when we try to print on it. It still doesn't feel stuck, so it's not dry enough yet. And what I mean by that is when you go to lift it, if you're, I can tell that I'm lifting some of it, but not all of it. So we're gonna let it sit for just a second. In the meantime, we will get ready. How about we try a A magazine cut out. We'll do this one next and see if we can get this to come out. It's feeling like it's pulling now, so that's a good thing. I'm 
and pull out another few colors to get. Now let's see what this looks like. Oh, cool. I need more contrast, I think. Okay, let's do another thin layer. Um, Guess there's still some left. Not much. How about King's Gold, it says. Now let's see what we got here. We might not have an I feel like we might not have enough. But then again, like I said in the beginning, you don't want to do too much because if it's too thick, it's going to be bright yellow for sure, for sure. Next time, there's still quite a bit on here. I may print out some black and white photos and see if we can get those to lift. Now, I will be honest, I have not had any luck getting any magazine prints to lift. But here we go, let's see. And what I'm going to do, because that magazine is so much smaller, is I'm going to lay another piece of paper on top here and capture all the paint that's around the edges. Go ahead and rub that on. And what we might end up with is just a big white spot in the middle. <laughs> that's okay, we're about to find out. Yes, I did get it on here. Yes, I'm making a mess. It's okay. It's washable. It's not even close to ready, so I think I probably put way too much paint on this one. Again, not my expertise, but it's always fun playing with paint. Makes you feel like a kid and know it's not, you're not trying to keep things inside the lines. Yeah, I had way too much paint on there. frame Let's see if we have any kind of print doesn't look like it does it how about we let that sit a little bit longer and I am going to try to get some of this off the edge Yeah, it's really wet. So I can tell you right now what I did wrong on this one is it's too wet.
Ooh, that's kind of cool. Just try to get some of this paint off the stencil. up making a side background paper over here. Let's see what happens if we add this one. That's the way while our other one's drying. Let's check this. Uh, I don't see anything on there, so I don't think it worked. But it is kind of a really cool paper once it dries. Okay, I'm running out of space here. Okay, this time I think what I'm going to try to do is lay this on here and roll it out and see what that gets us. See if that gets us something different. And no, I did not see anybody do it this way. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, the pink is not popping as much as I thought it would. Ah, wanted to keep that. Oh well. Need another piece of paper over here. Yeah, there's a lot to put way too much on it. Let me grab another piece of copy paper for this. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. I've got a piece of paper to roll this out on. Okay, I'm going to try it on this paper that I, this is another paper I bought, homemade paper. Oh, this might turn out to be pretty cool. Sounds like somebody lost their dog out there. Oh, she got him. Oh, he's a big one. He's like a Marmaduke. She's 
she's not happy with him either. <laughs> huh? At least he listened. He came back. Oh, that homemade paper is coming off on the fuzzies. Oh, I'm not sure if I should pull it up yet. Let me just leave it for a few seconds. And then I don't want to go too long without cleaning these stencils. Ah! Sticking! Well, I may have messed that up. Okay. Should we pull it up and see what we got? Does it look like writing or does it look like a hot mess? I think it looks like a hot mess. Uh, copy paper. Let me just see here. I think I may need some more practice off camera. Let's let this one sit a minute. This one is trying to lift the print up. And then I will go with a thinner layer next time. I wonder if we need like a black. Do you think that would work better? I don't have a black up here with me, but I do have this midnight garden color. Dropping everything. Just not sure that was the right stencil to pick, but. Okay, we're gonna lay that here for a second because then we're gonna take some of this. Sorry guys, I have the wind window open and it's windy. The wind's picking up today and it's blowing everything onto the desk area. But in here in Hawaii, it's hard to go without, uh-oh. There's no telling how long, how old this paint is either. Looks like it's pretty old. Let's see if it's going to roll out. Ooh, no, it's coming out in chunks. Let's see what we do if we get a really thin layer. really chunky. I wanted to try this with a darker color. It's definitely a thin layer though. If I should give up on the magazine idea or not.
Okay, now we're going to lay this paper on here. The thing is, you want to see if it's working, but then if you pull it up too soon, it doesn't work. See, that you gotta find the happy medium, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Where is the happy medium? So what's everyone doing this weekend? Any major plans? I think I'd set on a, a different video on Labor Day my husband we had went to the pool with the grandkids and he ended up wrecking his electric bike so bad that the whole front end like smashed into the middle part of the bike frame the people across the street from us are remodeling their house and they have like a big garbage truck sitting out front of their house and somehow his throttle got stuck and oh cool that's actually kind of cool and he ran into it and we spent labor day night that happened around four o'clock at the emergency room and i do not see where it imprinted on here at all so I see nothing I don't think it worked could always use that for collage though so anyway the point of the story is we are hanging out the house this weekend because now his feet are swelling and they're turning purple and he already has a history of AFib so that really was messing with his heart that night. And I think this is the leftover effects of it. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to try one more. And then I'm going to clean this up because it's not working like I envisioned but I would never know if I had not tried right and I also wonder if some of these paints are metallic and some of them are really old so that may also play a part and how well it does on here. Alright, we're going to try a different stencil. Let's sit there a minute. Okay, cool. We have a design on there. Oh, 
that's kind of cool. I'm going to have to stop soon anyway because I really need to go wash these stamps. And this, I believe, is regular coffee paper. Yes. No, this is multimedia paper. Okay, can you see this one? That's not bad, especially if you're gonna use it for a background or if you tear it up or cut it up for collages. You could also, um, this one's okay. I think it still needs something else. It's not stuck stuck yet. Let's wait and see. I can kind of see it coming through here. Can you guys see it? And I do know if you let it kind of draw on here from what I've seen and the ones who let it sit, I'm too impatient, I think, actually get better prints. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, I was worried about these colors for a minute, but actually that is kind of pretty. And see, so it did lift it up off of the jelly plate. I think I want to try one more thing for this one, and then I'm going to call it so I can get these stencils these stencils washed off. Let's try some orange. Ooh, I don't know if there's anything left in here. Let's see. Now, did you realize that that last one I used a lot less paint? It was a thinner layer and it came out a lot, came out a lot nicer. I may not have enough paint on this one. Okay, let's go with that. And we're going to lay this one back on here. We're going to let this one dry a little longer. I mean, we're going to let this one stay on here until it dries a little bit more. I need to get these stencils cleaned up too. I don't like to leave the paint sitting on them for too long. It's not sticking yet. 
And it could be this paper, too. Ooh, this one. May surprise us. Also wanted to try the bubble wrap. So I may do one more and then call it. Okay, got the bubble wrap ready. Let's see if this is ready. Still doesn't feel like it's pulling all the way. I don't know if you can see, but uh, it still has some of the imprint on there. But actually, guys, I like that. That's actually really pretty. All right, we're definitely going to save that one. And I want to try the bubble wrap. So I'm going to put a little bit of the turquoise blue on there. What's going on there? And then let's see if we can get some of the silver in here. All right, let's see what this does. Is it gonna make mud for us? I can't even see the silver, can you? Lay this bubble wrap. Ooh, should we try it on the, should we take a chance? realizing I just may be too impatient for this activity because I really think it depends on how long you let it dry on here either that or I just get nervous on camera and feel like it has to be done quick quick and I'm not sure we are how much time we are in I forgot to check I guess I could fast forward through all this drying time. 
Okay. Oh, I hope I didn't run it. Looks a little different now. That's actually kind of cool, though. And there's still some on there, so let me grab one more piece of paper. See what this does. Pulling it up. It's leaving some, I don't know. not pulling all the paint. I'm not sure what's going on. Either that or it's still wet. Maybe it's not going to work. I may come back on this one and do some stenciling with some ink or something and see if... And see if I can get a better print. Okay, I think I'm going to have to call it a day on this because it's not coming out like I thought. Oh, it's not doing anything now. Okay, I'm going to call this video so I can clean up these stamps. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I really do appreciate it. I am trying to craft and create with friends. And um, this is Creating with Choo Choo in Paradise. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you on the next video. Ciao.